Hello, welcome to today's vlog. My name is Jessica Penner and today I'm going to be working on a project here in the dining nook. I have something that I want to change up here and I'm very excited about it. We live in an attic -y type space and don't mind that, that's part of my project. Um, and then we have this one little bump out area which is what we've been using for our dining nook. It's, you know, cute and nice and whatever, but I have also had dreams of having an actual living room type space. We have our couch here. This is the only place that really fits in the whole apartment, but um, it, it's just a couch and, and a dining room table, which is a little bit odd. So what I'm hoping to do today is I have this low bookshelf bench that I'm hoping to put right here, and then we're gonna move the table a little bit more into the corner and see how that goes. Over here, I have this bookshelf, which was I guess some kind of TV TV shelf console thing. Anyways, I got it from a thrift shop and painted it white, but the top part has a lot of scuffs. And for some time now, I've been dreaming of making it like a bench seat. And today we're gonna see about doing that. I have these old mattress toppers, like a memory foam mattress topper that I want to cut to size. And then I have this pretty like quilt, just like a very thin top quilt. That's a creamy ivory color, which I think could look really nice on top of here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut out the memory foam and our quilt blanket to size, glue that all together, glue it onto this bench, and hopefully that makes us a nice little uh, cushion bench. And then of course, we're gonna move this into the other room. Actually, I would love to see what this looks like in the space over there. So why don't we move this first? We're gonna take everything out of the shelves and um, hopefully it's not too heavy, but if not, I'll drag it on a bed sheet and it'll be just fine. that around and quickly put on my hair okay so far I like it I really love how having this here makes this space feel like its own little zone you know like it's its own little separate like living room space and right now I just have the kitchen table shoved in the corner we will have to see how that practically works out um, with my husband's job right now, he is gone 15 hours a day. So we're not even eating supper together. I'm really the only one who's kind of sitting here on a daily basis. Of course, we have dinner on the weekends together. Um, but during the week, it shouldn't be too, too big of a deal. We'll see what he thinks about it on the weekends when we're here together. Anyways, we're playing with things so far in general. Again, I like it. I like how it makes its own space. I would love to put some kind of table right here between these two to separate this zone from the bed. Um, <laughs> in the corner, we have a little side table that I, I would kind of like to use for that, but it is being utilized right now as the fan stand. So we'll have to see, we'll have to see. I might, might need to or want to get some new little furniture pieces depending on how this all fills out. But anyways, for now, let's just get this guy situated, take the sheet out, put the books back in, and then we can start with our cushion.
a look at that. <sighs> it's so good. I just think the space is gonna look so cozy. So I'm really excited to get that cushion top on. So let's do that. And I will warn you, I'm not doing this the, the proper way. I'm, I'm doing it the way that gets it done today. So hopefully it will not come back to bite me. <laughs> so here's my mattress topper. I already measured it out a little bit. So see this little black line? That is to indicate where, you know, the one edge is gonna be as compared to the top edge. So I'm folding it over because I want it to be the thickness of the two, because if you just have the thickness of the one, it's it's not very thick. And yes, this is a well-used mattress topper. We've had it for eight years, bought it basically a month after we got married. And so it, uh, you know, it's, it's, uh, seen better days. But anyways, that's why it's the perfect thing to use for this project. And basically, I am just gonna cut along this line so that we have our double thick cushion seat. And I do have a little bit to trim on the end, but it uh, should be pretty simple. All right, just wanna line up that mark to make sure it's really in the right spot. seat which is nice and comfy and we are going to cut out part of this quilt so that it has a cover the pattern on the quilt is that there are these rows of squares so there's four squares and then four squares four squares so on and so forth and in each of these squares they have a really pretty like floral curly cue type of thing. So what I want to do is I want to have this center bar. I want to have that in the very center of this cushion. So we're going to have to measure out our cushion, find the center, line that up just perfectly, and then we'll be able to have a nice even design. We have finished 
gluing the fabric onto our sponge. And as you saw, I, I decided to sew one of the corners. There's a, just a little bit of the gap between the fabric that I didn't think the glue would really be able to get together very nicely. So I decided to try stitching it together and that looks really nice and crisp and clean. So I think I am going to stitch up all of the corners and that gives me a little bit more confidence that this thing will stay together. However, it is time for me to make supper now. So I'm gonna leave it as is. I have the three corners that I didn't stitch yet pinned up just to hold it really nice and taut. And then the glue will hopefully dry in that position. And then I can stitch it up as is and, and it'd be very nice and crisp and clean and all the wonderful things. I'm looking forward to turning this cushion over and actually just seeing what it looks like. And the unexpected benefit of using one piece of foam and folding it over is that there's one side that is a rounded side and then the other side is a square side. So I could choose either one of those sides to be the front of the bench depending on which look I like better. How fun is that? Anyways, I'm gonna go eat some food and see you in a minute. The next day, all the glue had dried, so all that was left was sewing the other three corners. The edges already look really good, so I know that once I've stitched it up and it's really nice and snug in there, it's gonna look really good. To sew these corners together, it was really handy to have that curved needle. I am by no means an expert seamstress. In fact, almost my entire sewing kit comes from stuff my mom had. So this needle just happened to be there. I don't really know if it's supposed to be an upholstery needle, but it worked amazingly for this project. So if you're gonna do something with upholstery, I highly recommend using a curved needle. All right, finished sewing all four corners. So now we can flip it over and see what it actually looks like on here. <sighs> this is nice. It's comfy. I like this a lot. Now, this feels like, you know, that couch and this, we have like an actual cozy little seating area. And then the dining chairs, which are, you know, right there, can be pulled out and two more. It's just really nice. I'm so excited. I may, I may want to do some tufting on this because the fabric is a little bit loose. It feels like it, it slides around a little bit and that would be fixed if I did some, you know, uh, tufting buttons, but that's not a hundred percent necessary. Maybe, maybe not. I'm not sure. But now that we have this ready, I'm just going to take a good look at the two different sides of the sponge. You know, this is the rounded side versus the square side on the back and see which one I like better and which one I'm going to have facing the front. the rounded side better. So we are going to leave it like this and I'm just gonna put the glue on. This is the moment. This is the moment.
evidently there was not enough glue. I only got this little section glued off, so that's okay though. We're just gonna put the cushion down, get it solid on at least one corner, and then the next time I go to town, I'll get some glue to do the rest. push this glue into the cushion and help it to dry solid in place. And there you have it. Our little bookshelf has turned into a cute book bench and our random couch and dining table duo has turned into a cozy living room. I am loving it so much. Also, it's just so satisfying to finish a project and then get to enjoy what you've made, to enjoy the beauty and care that you've put into your home. I hope this video inspired you and helped show you what you might be able to do in your own home to make it a little more cozy. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a like and leave me a comment below. And if you want to see more videos from me, I invite you to subscribe to my channel. And with that, I hope you have the most amazing day I love you and I'll see you in the next video.